okay multi threading series part 2 in last video we understood what is race condition in this video we will try to fix the race condition issue so just to give a context we have created two different threads and we are running for loops and we are trying to update the count value simultaneously leading to generate a different result than expected so to fix the race condition issue we can use a synchronized keyword so we can put a synchronized keyword right before the return type okay this way it is this particular uh, function is thread safe now at any point in time whenever a first thread try to enter into this block a lock is basically placed and this lock is managed by jvm automatically whenever it sees this synchronized keyword it creates an implicit lock and once the synchronized block is completed it releases the lock so when once a first thread tried to enter into this one lock is basically placed now any thread try to access the same code it has to wait until the lock is basically getting released once lock is released the other thread can easily access this same method okay now when we try to run the code no matter how many times you run it it will definitely give us the correct output so we notice that here it is basically returning 2000 at any point in time okay now you we can use synchronized block as well so instead of putting the synchronized keyword at method level we can create a synchronized block inside here we have to provide this object and we can put only shared content inside this synchronized block okay this way what happens is whenever we want to run any non-shared uh, uh, content before this uh, synchronized block we can easily run them and after that this synchronized keyword only checks and uh, apply the lock at this particular count variable that is shared okay this is also another way to fix it so next is like we can use uh, more control log system and we will try to fix the race condition issue so stay tuned with this playlist